Namaste and welcome to class and thank you so much for sitting with me with your undivided attention. And in this class I want to uh, give you a little bit an overview of what the full moon of July is um, going to ripple in time and what perhaps are the steps that you can take uh, this month for it. And also I have an invitation for you to align with this full moon, which is I found very, very important at this time to make alignments to the new earth and the new you. And you may say, okay, what is the new earth? A lot of have been say, um, the media and in our circle of yogis and mystics and physics and they all converging right now to say the earth and humanity, either they rise in consciousness or we are going to decrease very rapidly um, to a place where the species can be gone. Not because we have done something bad, but because from time to time, the, the species, the biology and the consciousness of, of the, the race in, in question have rise to a peak of evolution. So let me explain this to you. Every let's say 500 years or so, the way that we were thinking 500 years ago is obsolete. Let's say in 500 years or 1,000 years, there were about kingdoms politically. There were the king and the, the feudalism and all different kinds of governments and educations and way of thinking that determine certain timeline. And with that, we refer as memory of a history. And then at that time, it comes a moment where the feudalism it was not any more useful. There was obsolete. So it may be the communism and now is the, the democracy and all the way that we're thinking how we educate ourselves, the, the, the structures, the constitutions, the, the approach of how education, health and, and government is, is, it becomes obsolete. And unfortunately, most of these jumps in consciousness happens when some kind of crisis come into place. It could be a, a war, it could be a, a, a catastrophe, a, a natural catastrophe, it could be a illness, it could be a, 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 a different kinds of personal or social crisis that oblige us to move into a, a different solutions to be with each other. And we are now in this kind of crisis where we see that our governments are not in cohesiveness anymore with our own self-responsabilization. As humanity start to rise consciousness and, and see that, well, I am responsible for my creation, I am creating my own reality and I am interacting with that in a very conscious way and choosing what is it that benefit me. And yes, I need to cross through all the way of all way thinking that, oh, thinking about you is going to be, uh, is, is egocentric, is, is, is bad, is, is, you know, to give that simple permission to be a creator of your reality and be in, in, in that. It's a passage. It's a passage of consciousness and humanity. So in every moon that we are, uh, experiencing this is start to be a little bit more acute. It is start to be more evident for you that perhaps the life that you are living in the parameters of the always is not working anymore for you. And that everything is directing about three things. One is self-responsibility. 
meaning that I am responsible for my creation. This is huge. This is huge because this, your frequency immediately start rising and you start seeing that, oh, I don't need the government to take care of me or have a life insurance or, you know, you start tapping more into the, um, the dynamics of, of the, of the conjunction of the spirituality with the physics where say, well, you are really, uh, energy and this field and this, uh, consciousness that is all encompassing and loving and intelligent. So the self-responsibility have many layers and it have many passages and, and have many tests. And at this moment, obviously, you are wanting to declare that. Conscious or unconsciously, you want to declare that I want power. I want my own power. I don't want to be dependent. I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to be a tyrant. I want to see myself in a more compassionate and active way. The second, the second part is, is that underground crisis that we are having. And we tend to isolate that in, in two ways. Either we deny that it's happening. And the other one is we start seeing that I can be part of a solution by being my myself. And then you, you start finding new clans, you start finding new ideas and new concepts and new way of healing. And, and that is, is super empowering. And this, uh, of course, is, is gonna, ascend more the energy, the frequency that we are changing and that we need to choose. And it's not like a heavy choose, you know, we tend to say, oh, what is it that I need to choose? It's not a heavy choose uh, choice. The choice is more about in every single second, knowing that you are impacting your past, that how you were able to see yourself in the past, and you are preparing yourself to send energy to your future self to become something that is new. So the new you is bringing um, a birth, if I can put it that way, into the new, the new earth, as we are calling it these this times. So it's not like what is what is the new earth and what is the new human is it's, it's just that conscious person that is able to see that is not a victim that it has its power the the moon and in this time because of is is a place of origin and and you will see in many spiritual teach teachers and and teachings that are coming up is about origins, it's about what is new, it's about how I can use um, forgotten um, powers or abilities or attributes of my own soul to maintain that self-sovereignty, that to, to cultivate that self-independence of being me and at the same time be with everybody, be in connection with everybody. And the second part that the notes that we are really accelerating the times is that the, the individual self cannot and it won't survive by itself. It will need to have a, a cooperation in different levels, physically, emotionally, mentally, technically, it has to have a cooperation, not only with another humans, but also with new technologies and new races. So this, this will come. This is, is going to increase the crisis that it will open more doors and more, um, shedding of the way all way of thinking and putting ourselves in a new place 
Now, that new place is not in the future per se, since if we can think of time, you know, it's a very abstract way of thinking. Time is not the tick, tick, tick of the clock. Time really is related to memory and, and how you have conceived yourself in the past and again, how you are projecting yourself in the future in this huge um, matrix of living consciousness composed of so many different timelines and particles and souls that are having its own path. Like, if I can give you the analogy of, of how we as a solar system, how we move in this space. And we move in the space, the sun is not only holding all the planets around itself, but it's also ascending and it's also moving into the space in a very a spiral way, in a very ascending and a spiral way. Well, in the same exact way, there's no difference. Your soul moves in a space in the same way. And it gives a, a trajectory. It has a trajectory. And in each trajectory, you have like a dot that is full of information. That information is made of your experiences. For, for example, if you look back, all the experiences that you have has a signature in the space. Like when you put a, a stick in the water, it has a signature and you can access that signature that, that, that it has the information of your life, that has the information of your experiences. Some of that information is tense, is because of trauma, denials, uh, responsibility, subdivision of the mind and the, and the emotions. All that creates little gaps in, in the consciousness. So there is no flow into you seeing the trajectory of your past in a smooth way and how the energy that you're carrying in time is, is smooth, is completely. And, and at the same time, you are being, have the probability of projecting that into the future, your future self, which is through your intention, you you know what is the more probable trajectory of your soul. And you are sending the information of what is it you want. What is it that you as an individual can't display your potential. It's not about wanting a new house or the perfect relationship. No, it's not about that anymore. It's about how conscious you are in managing your own energy as a creator. And when you send through the intention and uh, to, the, to the future self, the future self send you back information, a feedback that prepares you and not only prepares you, but stimulates you with inspirations of what is it you need to do in order to get to where is it you are intentionally focusing on it. So that awareness and that management is the new human, is the new earth, where everybody is having their own timeline and respecting that, honoring that, loving that, accepting that, and, and simultaneously seeing that everybody has its own trajectory as well. It has its own life and that interaction with the other one, it makes each of the steps in your timeline very rich because it's experiences. And with that experiences, you are learning. So there's no more blames and to the other. You actually see in perspective that everything that it lands in your creation is being utilized in a very positive and constructive way for you to brush away the things that 
belong to the past, the, the perspective that belongs to the past, and that how you can maximize that opportunity, right? So, so the new you, in a way, is not determined anymore under the biological birth that we think we are trapped into it. It's like, oh, I have genes on, of cancer because of my mother. It's a no, there's not, and actually it's proof now that, that cancer and other uh, degenerational illness is not a result of genetics. It's a result of emotional dysfunction. So you, you start managing your energy much more in a much more empowering way and and the 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 biology is is being updated and it's being updated because it's being occupied by a higher frequency that is they have a better management so either we do this that ownership of our own energy or the energy of somebody else inhabit our biology. And this is where the interaction with the new IA race, if we can put it that way, that is increasing our planet, that we are creating as a way of creating either a crisis or creating a opportunity to move into a more responsible way. Our biology need to be owned and embodied by consciousness, by awareness, by ownership, by love, by loving your body, not as a, oh, I love my body. No, loving the dress that you presently have in this incarnation to represent you and to be able to interact with others. So, this this full moon is about new birth and i want to invite you to upgrade your birth right your you may have give it's my month my birthday month and all this download is coming so clearly that we need to reborn consciously into this new self and regardless of what month you born, and this full moon is so generally uh, giving the opportunity uh, opportunity of rebirth. It's not a rebirth from your own cycles. It's a rebirth to a new dimension. It's a passage, and I want to give. Um, a ceremony this Sunday at 5 a.m. Colombian time to facilitate that for you. If this resonates for you, if it's not, um, which I'm sure it does, because deep down is you, you feel that necessity to look at your life from different perspective and to look at yourself and relationship in a different perspective. Everybody's in the same boat. So why not give yourself your own uterus, your own birth, your own date, where many, 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 many guides and midwives and doctors and, and all the spirit guides are really supporting this movement from the within the earth and outside of the earth we are being deeply guided to rebirth so please come i will leave you behind uh, below the information of how you can uh, be part of this wonderful ceremony which in this platform is powerful because you guys are from different parts of the world and each part of the world is having the vibration so you are in a way anchoring that energy so this is this is my invitation for you in this full moon 
is is moving you from oh what this full moon is influencing me rather to say what this full moon within me what my waters are calling for and then is you are yes influenced by the moon cycles but you also honoring the moon within you to give you the cycle of rebirth cancer month the month of july is a beautiful uh mothering watery deep waters um especially when it's in conjunction with capricorn to to give this kind of opportunity thank you so much for sitting with me and i'll see you in the ceremony and in the next class namaste <laughs>